Yo, what's good? It's your boy Doc from Doc Be Now Coaching and Entertainment. For coaching, my links are down below. Spiritual services are down below. In fact, I'm going to promote this one right now. I call it Astro Divination Sessions. Inside the session, if you guys need some, number one, you want to see what you already do inside the astral unconsciously, it's good for that. Number two, there's also specifically tailored advice for you from your spirit guides that talk about how to gain better astral awareness and they also talk about what's holding you back from truly experiencing the astral in the way that you may wish so if you guys want to learn about all of that you know what i'm saying you guys want a specific reading to help you guys get better with astral projection i recommend the astral divination sessions i also did recently just drop an astral projection course and that shit is pretty much that shit is pretty much like all the essentials that you need to even understand the astral, astral projection, lucid dreaming, you know. It has all that. I have my Instagram down below, Discord down below, donations down below, everything down below, Patreon down below, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, let's get into this video, man. Hey, so last night was quite a journey. When I first came back, from what I was doing last night, it was the whole entire, like, it was the whole entire, like, witch hunt and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I thought I was going to stay up from there. Bro, I went back to the Astro last night. Bro, that joint was so crazy. At some point, my mans pulled up with me. He was at least, he was at least in this chair right here. We was talking, but it's like, I thought I was awake, but I was in the Astro, so I thought, like, it, I felt really psychedelic, and I swear to God, I thought that I was on a shroom. Whole time, I was just in the astral tweaking out. But that's a different story for a different video, right? Let me first talk about this, right? For the past couple of nights, I've been doing stuff like this. It started really, it really started um August 19th, because that was the day where I was like, I right, bro, let me actually start doing my astral projection ritual more. Because like, inside the course, y'all see how I give up my personal method, right? And there's one where it's like, I do the ritual, and then sometimes I don't do the ritual. And it's like, whenever, whenever I want super increased astral awareness, I always do the ritual. And it's like, it's always a success. You know what I'm saying? Literally always. So the first night I did that, right? I learned about fucking uh, Tibetan dream assassins, which I talked about on my Patreon. I talked all about the Tibetan dream assassins and who they are and what they do, right? So it really started with that. And I'll just say this one small thing. Tibetan dream assassins, right, will fight evil in the astral through their dreams. Pretty simple. But they also do more stuff, too, you know, on some, like, Inception type shit. But, yeah. So, after that, right, after the first night, which was August 19th, of me learning about this whole fucking Tibetan dream assassin shit, right? Pretty much, they're making me a dream assassin. Which I already was doing dream assassin shit, but now I'm doing it more consciously, right? So they were, they were teaching me all about that shit, right? The next night, August 20th, yo, I hit a fucking, bro, literally, I did my ritual again. And, like, I was so aware. Literally, I just popped out of body randomly, like, during the fucking early morning time, right? So I was exploring this shit like that, having mad fucking fun. And at some point, some, like, magical, and this is relevant to the story, I promise. You know what I'm saying? To the whole entire witch story. I promise it's all relevant, right? Anyway... I, I be chased by like some entity that like is doing like magical spells, right? It didn't really look like a human. It looked like a it looked like a kind of like a shadow being that had magic, right? Now the thing is, I'm only running to get away because like I could honestly fuck that nigga up. Like when I when I tell y'all what I did, you gonna see like yeah, because I've been fighting. Nigga, I've been fighting titans, overlords, like, them niggas are 8D beings. Like, fuck is a fucking magical shadow being gonna do, right? So, at some point, I couldn't get away, and it was it was making me really annoyed. Like, I wasn't even mad, I was just really annoyed. So, dog, I got on my fucking god shit, right? And I mean this literally, right? Nigga, I fucking smiled. <laughs> literally, like, I, I became, let me show you, let me try to show you what the form looked like I was using. Hold up. Nigga, I was looking like these. I got on my Inataka God shit. Got on my Inataka God shit. You know what I'm saying? 
started smiling, then I hit the motherfucking Kaneshite on his ass, and then, yeah, like, I, I literally have been developing this hands, uh, these hands, I wouldn't show it to y'all, but now y'all gonna try to take my shit, you know what I'm saying, and even if you try to do it, you'd have to learn the Kaneshite from the Inataka anyway, you know what I'm saying, for it to even work, because Kaneshite is an Inataka word that deals with, I'll just say, holy anarchy, right, and when I, when I did that move, right, I was like, he he shot a blast at me, so I did my little, like, hand sign shit, whatever the fuck, and I fucking shot my shit, right? And his blast and him got fucked up, but also the whole entire reality got fucking destroyed. And it kind of reminds me of this Excalibur spell, except the kind of sheet say is way more powerful because like i said the whole reality got obliterated bro like it, it like like the his attack got fucked up he got fucked up and the whole reality got fucked up you know what i'm saying that shit was like that shit was wild as hell bro you know what i'm saying so then that, that was that was august 20th right so then august 21st this was when i started doing like some witch hunting shit it's like on some more dream assassin shit we was now, like, hunting different witches, right? But not, like, just, like, any random ass witch. Like, not, like, evil witches, right? We started doing it. We started doing the hunts on the 21st. So, last night was the 22nd when we, like... it was, The 22nd last night was a continuation of the 21st with the different witch hunts, right? But also something interesting. I was shown a TV show inside that dream, right? Inside that dream astral experience, right? Because dreams are the same, right? Literally... It said like it said like witch and there's like a fucking like a M somewhere, right? So I just look up witch TV shows. The first one that popped up was The Witcher, you know? And The Witcher's about a monster hunter and stuff like that. He's a he's a genetically modified or he's he's he, he he's some kind of like modified monster hunter. And my guide said, Yeah, you gotta watch that shit on some monster hunting shit. But then number two, right? I went because they said there was gonna be something else, and that the M that I saw was very important. So, nigga, I went on Netflix, right? Let me show you what the fuck popped up on Netflix, nigga. Out of nowhere, this TV show popped up on my Netflix, and they said, "Yeah, that's the one." So, I'm about to watch this show and The Witcher, and I'm gonna see what it activates for a nigga, right? Okay. So now that all that backstory is out the way, you guys can now see that in the astral, I have been making an intent to become super aware based upon simply using my own astral projection method. Like the shit that I teach inside the course, nigga, I was do I was just doing my shit that I teach inside the course, and I've been having some crazy astral experiences, bro. So let's talk about this current witch hunt, right? So we already were like hunting different witches, trying to take them down. A lot of people were like, because like what, what, what it would be like is like some of these people would be people who are like in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like we're meeting certain people who actually exist in real life, but we're like, it's like we're inside their astral layer trying to clear out the malevolent parts of themselves so that way in the physical they don't do evil witch nigga shit other witches they were just only like astral witches and we had to pretty much like either like clear them out fight them or like help them to like transmute and stuff like that it was, it was a whole bunch of stuff right but after doing all that they decided that they were going to do this Excalibur, this Excalibur spell. So, when I heard about the spell in the astral, I just was like, oh yeah, the Excalibur spell, right? But when I woke up in the physical, I'm like, hold the fuck up. Isn't like Excalibur like a sword? So, what's funny is that it is, right? I looked it up. Excalibur is a sword that could only be wielded by those who are pure of heart. And what Excalibur does is is that it was mainly used to fight off evil forces, right? So it's like the spell, what the spell did was, when they did the spell, it was going to look, oh, holy shit, this reminds me of some other elven, yo, this reminds me of some elven shit. Because I've be, I be, I already been using some elven forms 
when I do these things in the astral, right? One of my favorite forms is my fucking dragon elf form. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like an elf that's a druid between an elf and a dragon. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this spell was meant to pretty much target anybody who was malevolent, right? So anybody who was pure of heart and wasn't righteous, they were going to get attacked by this spell and get fucked up. Now, this kind of reminds me of on some elven shit. There's actually... So in elven history, I learned about how these, like, certain, like, light witches... Like, there was... Not witches. There was these certain elves that were, like... They saw themselves as, like, the good witches. And there was other elves that were, like, the bad... I gotta stop stop saying witches. Some elves saw themselves as good elves. Some elves were, like... Okay, hold on. Let me get my fucking mind clear. Okay. So certain elves saw themselves as good. Those good elves did a spell against certain elves that they thought were bad. And it caused a whole bunch of fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to, I'm pretty sure it's Dungeons and Dragons history. There's actually something that's like that with inside their lore. Because I, I was learning about elven shit. And then I was guided to Dungeons and Dragons and the shit that was saying lined up. And it makes sense because this Excalibur spell felt very fucking elven. And there was mad elven niggas I was seeing too. And it's making a lot more sense now why I was like that. Because back in, like when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons, they actually have this thing where like light elves, right? You had the light elves do a certain kind of spell and it kind of decimated the dark elves, I'm pretty sure. I could be saying that a little bit wrong, but that's what happened in actual galactic history. And it was like that same kind of a spell, in a way, you know? Where, like, it targets malevolent and evil magic and will exterminate it, right? Now, there was actually some oppositions to this happening. And th- there was literally, like, a certain quote that would get said. Let me let me uh, pull it up real quick. I, I wrote this shit down on my phone. So the quote was, we must have mercy for they don't for we must have mercy for they do not know the evil of that which they do. And if you want to like be a bit extra, because I actually put parentheses too. So like what they meant by that is we must have mercy for the witches and the wicked for they are unaware and they do not know the evil of that which they do. So a lot of people were seeing it as, yeah, there's like some evil ass wicked motherfuckers, but a lot of them aren't even fully aware of all the evil that they do. So because of that, we got sent to actually see who's evil and who's not evil. And we got taught certain things, which I'm going to explain right now, because here was like the three. So like here, here's the three things that the spell would do, depending on how evil or not you were, right? Some people would get completely fucking destroyed. Like, their soul is just gone type shit. Like, they have to restart a whole new soul journey type shit, right? Other ones just get bound to the physical. So, so it's like they get exterminated, but their, but their soul is still bound to the physical. And when I say destroy your soul, right, what I pretty much mean is that, like, when a soul gets destroyed, all imagine if your soul became a complete blank slate. You didn't know about any of your past lives. I mean, granted, in human life, when it comes to our human life, a lot of us don't know our past lives, right? But I mean, like, because we, even if we don't know it, it's still stored inside of us, right? But if you kill a soul, you pretty much wipe the soul clean of all of its memory. So all of its fucking history for billions of years just goes to complete shit. And the Excalibur spell would do that to certain witches, mainly the ones who were like super duper evil, right? You know, and now when it came to other people, they would just get bound to the physical. So it's like they will still have their soul, but because they have like these wicked physical desires, they would get bound to the physical you see what i'm saying and they couldn't really leave like that and then some of them would just like end up ascending when they got hit by the shit they would just separate and ascend type shit you see what i'm saying so because there was all these oppositions and stuff like that we were supposed to go out to see who was really good who was really bad and any when it came to like certain witches like like let's say there were certain witches right who were on some malevolent shit but they weren't truly aware of all the harm they were causing 
we would try to help them out so that way once the spell gets done, the motherfuckers, like, they don't got to worry about shit. Because regardless of what the fuck they did, right? Like, we could tell, like, we could literally tell them we're going to do a spell on you guys to fuck y'all niggas up. And it's like they couldn't really do shit about it, you know? Let me say this, too. Um... One of the areas I was at a lot when it came to the when it came to doing this spell and helping motherfuckers out was at like a college. It was at some like adv- it looked like a fucking like college, like somewhat advanced but not too advanced. And this could have been a situation of we were experiencing like this could have been like an actual college in the physical where certain people are having problems with demonic witches possessing them, right? I really think it could have been some shit like that. It's what it kind of feels like, right? It kind of felt like we were like at we were at an actual place that had real humans, but we were experiencing the different witches that would attach themselves to the humans at that college and cause evil shit. You know what I'm saying? And while doing that, we would like go to different people who were like possessed and try to get the and try to get the evil witch possessing them to stop being evil, right? Now, while doing that, we started to see that most of these motherfuckers actually were very aware of all the evil that they did. And here's how we actually were able to do it. I gotta explain something that was popping up for me yesterday, right? Right before going to sleep. So yesterday, right, which was the night of me going to the astral, right? I would say like midday to evening, I kept on hearing proper inside my head, proper, proper, proper. And I started hearing cordial, 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 cordial. And I started seeing these fucking dog beings, right? Who like always had their hand folded and they'll be like, they'll they'll like look around and sniff around and be like, yeah, that's proper. Now the thing is, right, people already kind of say that lingo in real life, right? But I was seeing these dogs who actually like walk around and they actually make sure that shit is proper. And they like to keep shit cordial too. Like, like they be having like their whole society is interesting, bro. Cause like you have these ones that be having these hoods, right? And they're very like occultic, like, you know what I'm saying? And like a, like they do like a lot of divination. And they understand a lot of spiritual secret. They understand a lot of spiritual secrets, which help them to act proper and to act in harmony with the universe, right? And it's like, and they looked a lot like like they were always like bloodhounds or like greyhounds, always some kind of hound. They always had like those fucking like them long ass noses, just sniffing around like, yeah, that's proper. That shit proper. You know what I'm saying? Then like they would have like these fancy ass parties too. You know what I'm saying? And, like, at the parties, right, you have to act pretty cordial with motherfuckers. You have to be pretty nice, stuff like that, right? And if you didn't, if you weren't acting cordial, they saw that shit as not proper, and you would get kicked the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? But depending on how you acted, they would kind of see, like, oh, this motherfucker acting real cordial, and he really proper. Let's motherfucking initiate him into our secret society type stuff and help that motherfucker to actually, you know, become even more proper type shit, right? That's the best word I got for this shit right now. Like, for them, the word is some fucking dog-ass word. But for me, I'm just saying proper. Proper seems like the best word, right? Now, a big thing with them really is their sense of smell. And it's funny because literally that same exact day, I had a I had this girl hitting me up for help or for advice, right? And she was telling me how she'd be talking to her spirit guides, right? And when she talks to them, she oftentimes will smell like beautiful scents, you know? Like she'll smell like she'll just smell beautiful smells. And she's actually been smelling those smells for a while. And I'm like, oh yeah, that, that's your clear olfactory, I think it's called. Pretty much it's your spiritual sense of smell. And various Mainly India talks about how you can actually like smell different spiritual spe- different spiritual smells. And there's like a concept called your vasana, right? Which is your scent. And your scent comes from your karma, right? So depending on your karma, you would have a certain kind of scent. And people who are like enlightened always have like a beautiful scent, right? And some people like it would it would be a metaphor and literal because people people like people Okay, let me say this. So metaphorically, right? Metaphorically, it pretty much meant that when it comes to your smell, your smell is going to attract different things to you. Like like it's like having pheromones, right? Like different animals get attracted to different animals based upon pheromones, right? Even, even when it comes to bees, like bees get drawn to a flower based upon its scent, right? So like your scent 
is going to make you draw certain things to you, right? Your vasana is like the smell of your aura, essentially, right? And if you if you have a if you have like a spiritual gift of smell, you can actually begin to smell out bullshit. I actually, I actually talk about that in an episode of Mastering the Mundane on my Patreon, right? So long story short, nigga, at nighttime, right? After being taught about these fucking dog beings, right? I was meditating and like they'll make my like my nose will, get, will start to tingle and I could actually like smell energy. But I can't I couldn't even say like I smell beautiful smells or not. Is I mean sometimes I actually do smell random ass smells. Like there's actually once I actually smelled a demon, which was like way back and it smelled like fucking like it smelled like rotten eggs and like shit and vomit. It was disgust I literally smelled a demon. That shit was disgusting. But it's like there has been there has been other times where I have to smell random beautiful scents. But during the meditation at like 9 p.m. type shit. It's like my nose will be tingling. And like I could smell in my area the different kinds of energy. It wouldn't even be like this smells like strawberry. This smells like mango. It's just more like I could just like sense in my nose if this was like divine energy or if it was eternal energy or if it was spiritual energy. I mentioned the different forms of mana and life force energy inside of one of my videos on Patreon, which is under my ET Enlightenment section, which has over 23 ET Enlightenments inside of it, by the way. And the episode that's called it is pretty much a teaching from the divine realm about different forms of mana and spiritual energy. And I can actually like smell them out and stuff like that. So literally in the astral, right? We were getting taught like, oh, let me say this last part. So anyway, I was meditating, smelling all this shit, right? And at some point I was like, yo, I'm getting tired of shit. Literally, I was so tired, bro. At one point, I'm like, let me just fucking lay down on my bed. Like, literally, bro. So, I'm, I'm meditating on my couch, right? I'm on my couch, and my bed's, like, right here. Nigga, I was laying down. Like, I had my head on the bed. Wait. I had my head I had my head on the bed with my legs on the couch type shit on some fucking, like, random ass shit. Then I said, okay, time to do the fucking ritual type shit. I did my fucking ritual type shit. Got my mind right. Got into the astral. And at some point in the astral, when it was time to help these different witch beings out, right? We had the dog beings pull up. And they were teaching us to do the whole spiritual smell shit. So because of that, right? Ted Ted is what I'm saying this shit. Because of that, right? Niggas went to the astral. Or niggas, niggas went to that college and stuff like that. And... We were using what the dog beings taught us. And dog. We would smell different people. And it's not even like they stunk or they didn't stink. It's just that as we smelled them. At least for me. I can't say it for everybody else. Cause it, it, was, it, was, it was many of us, right? Many different dream assassins and witch hunters, right? But we're like smelling shit. And every time I smelled the energy. I could see like. It's like their face, when they're a wicked, it's like their face got this wicked ass, evil ass grin. I'm like, what the fuck? And it's like, I could easily smell all their karmas. I could smell their intents. I could smell everything. Just off smelling, I just knew everything about them. And I'm like, holy shit. These motherfuckers do, these motherfuckers do know what the fuck they doing. You know, like these motherfuckers really do got to be wiped out type shit. You know what I'm saying? So after after we did the whole fucking smell shit, we fucking reported back. And I know for me, there was literally nobody that I saw that I could help. Everybody was wicked as shit. You know what I'm saying? Facts. They was all wicked as shit. And yeah, so because of that, they eventually hit that fucking spell. And them witches got them witches got done the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? But this was a really good lesson about smelling out bullshit. Because, like, in my real life, literally, I'll look at a person. Like, literally, I'll come, like, literally, this morning, I was on my phone looking at people. What the fuck? My fault. Someone just hit me up, and I, that shit confused the fuck out of me. Anyway, I was looking at people that I would smell and be like, deep down inside, they got some shit that's like, uh, I could see that shit. Some motherfuckers smelled beautiful. And when I say smell beautiful, I couldn't really directly smell a smell, 
But I could like sense with my nose that this aura of theirs in Boston was beautiful, you know? It was real interesting. But yeah. Look, my astral projection method would get you right. Cause I, I was also high as shit, mind you, nigga. I was high as shit at nine at nine p.m. doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was high as shit, high as hell, meditating, tired as fuck, head on. Oh, this also was like a this was also like a body hop kind of a thing, right? I teach body hopping inside of my astral projection course type shit, you know. But yeah, like this was like a body hop type shit. Where I got just hop inside that version of me type shit, you know? But, um, yeah, bro. Like, this shit, this shit, this shit. My, my method valid, bro. Because the fact that I was on some bullshit that just did the one ritual, got myself right hopped in the astral. It's like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas better stop playing with me, bro. So, if you guys could afford that, you guys want that shit, no pressure. But if you guys really do want that shit, links down below. And I'll give you guys more astral projection videos in the future and stuff like that. So, uh, with all that being said, right, I love you all. I'm going to catch my next video. And peace out.